That's right, Vinny. Late this evening, police announcing they have arrested a Georgia sergeant accused of using excessive force during a traffic stop. Take a look at this guy's mugshot. This is Cody Kennedy. He works for the Upson County Sheriff's Office. According to the GBI, he hit a handcuffed suspect in the knee and then pushed him into a utility pole. Kennedy has been on unpaid suspension since March. Today, thousands of women hitting the streets of the nation capital demanding migrant families be reunited. Organizers labeled it a mass civil disobedience. They marched past the Trump International Hotel and rallied outside the Justice Department. Capitol Police arrested close to 600 people at the Senate office building. No more cages! No more cages! And a little closer to home, several dozen people attending what is now being called a rally and march for justice. The organizers used the hashtag abolish ICE and decriminalize migration. They marched from the Woodruff Park to the U.S. Attorney's Office in downtown Atlanta. And a Georgia story with a happy ending here, folks. Dramatic pictures as police recruits rescue a missing two-year-old. This is near Savannah, Georgia. Body cam video shows the child. Camilla Vicks being found in a wooded area Wednesday. This is in the town of Pooler. Vicks was last seen on Tuesday, Tuesday night walking with her mom. After a six hour search, Vicks was found. She was dehydrated, had some minor scrapes and given some medical attention. Now police are still investigating how the child became separated from her mom. But of course, the good news here, Vinny, is the child is gonna be okay. How about those recruits, huh? Way to go. Fresh out of the academy. Thanks yeah. so much, Rock.